What's up my ponios? Andy with Andy Vlogs. Excited to share with you guys this content here. As the title suggests, guys, we're going to be going over the Jetpack 5000 milliamp MagSafe battery pack from the folks at Ampere. Now, before we jump into it, I do want to let you know that they did send me this product to review so you know where my bias is, but this is not a sponsored video here so you know my review is genuine and sincere. With that said, I'm really excited to be able to show you guys here another, yet another one of these uh, MagSafe chargers because Honestly, uh, there's such a competition out there and you guys need to know which one is best for you. So with that said, what we're going to do is we're going to unbox this here, show you what it looks like, and then compare it to a couple of other uh, different products in the industry and I'll give you kind of my final verdict. With that said, guys, down below in the links in the description will be the product pricing and availability. Please consider checking that out as it does help out the channel and uh, some of those other products as well that we go over. With that said, let's go ahead and jump into it and show you what this looks like. The Jetpack from the folks at Ampere is an awesome, sleek, two-tone MagSafe 5000 milliamp battery. It charges by USB-C and it also includes an 8-pin output. It can drive up to 15 watts wirelessly, but for the for you folks that use iPhone, the maximum is about 7.5 or 5. I know there's debate in the community, but it seems like it, it maxes out at 7.5. With that said, it's only 110 grams, it's got an LED indicator, and it's got the MagSafe optimization for iPhone 12 and 13. As you can see here, two-tone, you know, plastic front, matte plastic on the back as well. And you got this nice little rubberized grip all the way around with a little logo. Um, on the back side here, you've got your MagSafe uh, and anchor, which is nice. This is compatible with other devices that do Qi charge. Uh, however, you don't have um, in the box um, a, a little ring for it, so that's kind of sold separately. The back side here, I really like how it's got the 8 pin uh, for iPhone, and then you've even got USB Type C and the button. Although, I do notice here that uh, there's a little bit of bleed from the colors here, but here's your indicator here for your battery. It feels a little plasticky, I'll be honest. Um, but I think at the price point, it's, it, it seems pretty reasonable. The Ampere's uh, jetpack here uh, kind of stands out from the rest. It's about the same height, it is lighter than some of the other ones except for the uh, the Apple uh, power bank, but this is significantly smaller as far as uh, the milliamps go. Uh, on this side, we've got the Anchor first gen. This was uh, a 4,000 milliamp. The iPhone power bank is about 2,000. Obviously, the Jetpack is five. The folks at Zero came out with a similar to the iPhone. This is a 5,000 milliamp. And then just to show you, the Oizel has an 8,000 milliamp, and it seems like it's a little bit smaller, but heftier. With that said here, um, I really like the design. I like the logo cut out, um, but I don't like the all plastic. Even the easel is, is plastic, but it has a matte feel. It's almost got like a silicone-esque feel to it. Uh, and then the Apple has, uh, I think, the best feel to it, all of them. Um, I just don't like this uh, typical plastic. It's not necessarily a polycarbonate, uh, but that's the one drawback. With that said, let's go ahead and test it out here. I've got a MagSafe compatible leather case from the folks at Moment, as you guys can see. Let's go ahead and put uh, the jetpack on first. It is a nice snappy grip. Push the button to activate it. Show you on the back side here that it's got the animation. Pretty excited about that. That shows you that you've got 7.5 watts. Um, there is, again, debate out there that the animation does or does not show it, but that's that's really, really, um, really, really impressive. I'm going to go and show you now the anchor here. Anchor does not have uh, the 7.5 watts. It doesn't grip as well, and uh, it doesn't... Um, this one is one of my least favorite of them all. Uh, you can see that it only charges with that animation rather than the other. It doesn't really grip like, uh, like the uh, Jetpack does. With that said, we're going to jump to the Zero. This one is uh, probably my second favorite here. As you can see, it's really sleek, nice matte design. Push the button here to activate the charging. You can see it does have the MagSafe animation as well. This one is a little bit heavier than the rest. It's uh, IO is here on the bottom, uh, but it's nice to the black on black there to show you. Let's go ahead and jump to the Apple. Apple has its own unique MagSafe animation, shows you how much uh, is left. This does not have really any indicator of how much battery is left, but there's only one 8 pin there. Uh, there's the uh, Thunderbolt pin there. Uh, but this is supposed to be able to push 7.5 watts. I did update it to the latest firmware. Lastly is the Weasel. This has uh, two different uh, ports here for charging and also daisy chaining. This one does snap there. And it kind of, you have to like tap it to turn it on. That was the one drawback of this device. You kind of have to shake it to turn it on or, or bump it. 
and then it will output that MagSafe charging animation as you guys can see. This is uh, 8,000 milliamps, although I wasn't getting uh, quite 8, 8 milliamps. I was getting about one and a half, which uh, is unfortunate. It seems like it's about a 6,000 milliamp. All right, Pong Yells, well, there you have it. Pretty quick, pretty snappy. Uh, I really like this device. I like how uh, snappy the magnet is. It isn't going anywhere as I shake it. That's really important for me. You can throw this in your backpack. It's not that heavy. It charges fairly quickly. The drawback here is that it didn't come with any charging cables, which I'm not you know, too keen about. I do like how it's got the double IO here for the different type of chargers that you want and then the light indicator isn't too bad. With that said, guys, down below in the links in the description is the product pricing availability. Go check it out from the company. Uh, Ampere did give this to me. They did uh, provide this to me complimentary, just so you know, but this isn't a sponsored video. I, I, I did say this on my own accord. If you like this content, guys, hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more down below. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.